Hey guys, welcome back to Vito's Garage. I'm currently driving uh, um, to a place where I can actually pick up parts. Um, the seller uh, who I was talking to actually, he's pretty cool and apparently he has a lot of classic Mercedes as well. And he saves most of them. Some of them actually go for, you know, parts, but he saves most of those uh, classic Mercedes. So I'm gonna go there. Uh, check everything out and talk to him and also um, the main reason why I'm driving that way it's actually an hour away going north from Las Vegas but I gotta go there just so I can pick up uh, uh, parts for Spencer's uh, W126 um, uh, which we uh, rescued uh, so that car um, trying to get everything uh, fuel tank fuel pump assembly and filter and fuel accumulator all that stuff because everything on the Spencer's car is actually like bad so yeah that's made basically what I need to do uh, so the only thing that sucks is that when I get there I actually have to pull everything out myself because the seller um, does not have an ability right now to do it so I'll have to do everything myself but anyways you know just the journey uh, is gonna be a lot of fun so that's what I'm gonna do and then later uh, after I have everything, I'm gonna drive to Spencer's house and hopefully we'll get this car rolling today. So the traffic is pretty crazy right now. Not too crazy, but it's getting there. It's about nine o'clock in the morning, so yeah. And uh, yeah, I'm all ready to go. Grab a couple tools, and hopefully the seller will have uh, more tools uh, in case I need it. But we'll see. Hopefully everything goes smooth. And yeah, it's gonna be super exciting today. I feel your heart Guys, this is what I love about United States. Like. I love this country so much I mean it's so amazing like every state is different um, in this country so like we're currently in Nevada so like if you compare this state to state of Washington this is gonna be like day and night because Washington state is all green uh, you know it's the weather is a lot cooler over there and there's a lot of lakes uh, there's an ocean, there's mountains and all that stuff. But if you compare it to this state, this state is always pretty much hot, you know. It's like a desert, you know, and it's it's super hot. Even when it gets cold, when it gets like dark outside, uh, you would think that it would get cool, but the temperature actually stays the same, which is pretty crazy. But I honestly, I love this, like everything about like this country. It's just so amazing. Like each state uh, you go to, it's like you get a different feeling experience and all that stuff and you know obviously enjoy amazing old school cars and whatnot and yeah it's just uh, such an amazing feeling guys no all right guys so we're approaching uh, a small town uh, I don't know how small it is, but the name of it you guys can see right here um, And I have about like 15 more miles left until destination and then we can finally see uh, What's waiting for us, but other than that, yeah um, I've never been here before and it's gonna be something really interesting But yeah, it's just uh, another town in the middle of nowhere Nevada guys thank you so much for tuning in uh, please if you haven't yet share this video with your friends and family and everyone who uh, you know uh, you know that will love these classic Mercedes and other cars so anyways I've met this person he's actually pretty cool so I'm working on this car right now this car is basically gonna go for 
parts. Um, but what happened with this car is um, the owner said that he bought it like this. Uh, the engine had fire in it when he got it. So something happened here. Probably just transmission was leaking or something or the oil onto the exhaust manifold and probably caught on fire. It's really dangerous. So I really recommend for you guys to carry a uh, fire extinguisher at all times. All right. And uh, this you know uh, this car is from a desert obviously so as you can see everything is in a pretty horrible shape as far as the interior um you know but the owner um you know he's pretty awesome and he also drives a w126 and you know he has a lot more classic mercedes at his house um and all that so if you guys are you know maybe possibly want to buy any of these cars you know let me know uh, i will give you his number but anyways uh, as far as these cars as you can see he has a lot of them this car is actually in pretty immaculate condition uh, it's a 420 scl beautiful car and the interior is actually the same like on my w126 as you can see it's so nice and beautiful and the front right here he has also like the owner's manuals and everything in it it's it's pretty amazing and he has three more W126s right there. It's a three. This is a really sp special one. This is a 380 SEL, also a long body. But this one has a velour interior. This is pretty cool, guys. This is super rare and it's actually in pretty amazing shape. I love this thing. It's pretty awesome. And yeah, 560 SEL as well. I mean, a lot of these cars need love and stuff like that. But it's pretty awesome. And he has, like I said, guys, he has a lot of other cars. Uh, you know at his house and this is just like the place where he usually stores his uh you know uh, parts cars i would say but not not all of them are parts cars i mean they all have potential and stuff like that you know but uh i came here to just get the fuel tank because we need to save the w126 500 scl uh that me and spencer got it's spencer's car but anyways I'm removing the fuel tank right now from this car. This fuel tank is in good shape, actually. So as soon as I pull it out, we're gonna, I'm gonna transport it to Spencer's house. It's about three hours away, but we have to get that car back on the road and stuff like that. And the fuel tank is almost out. I removed a bunch of stuff already. The fuel pumps are all out and the tank right there is draining. So I have to disconnect a couple of hoses. And uh, yeah, this is, it looks pretty good from this point right here. So it's not bad at all. But uh, yeah, other than that, it's it's a beautiful place here. It's pretty hot today, probably 120 degrees, super hot. And yeah, I'm being a grease monkey because I have to, you know, and it's weird, I'm not wearing gloves, you know, usually I wear gloves, I forgot to grab my gloves, I'm crazy like that, you know? So anyways, back to this, I would need to take this tank out and yeah, possibly get more parts. Man, this was a pain to pull out. This was a pain. It was so tight. All right, guys, finally, the tank is coming out. Alright guys, I'm sorry for my looks, finally the fuel tank is out, okay, everything is out, fuel pumps and everything uh, is right there, so good to go, I'm gonna start packing everything and uh, I'm gonna film a couple more videos, a couple more shots over here and we're gonna be good to go. That's insane, look at this. See, so these seat covers actually, they really protect the interior, so that's what I'm saying. Like they had it on, and this thing is so I'm nice. Taking these seat covers off of other cars, where the seat covers are rotted out and the seats are perfect. I know. That's what these uh, seat covers are for, know, is to protect the seat. Thing. You know, because you can compare the dashboard. You know, it wasn't I, protected, and that's why it's all cracked. You don't find no uh, old '74 with seats like this. Yes, sir. This is a beautiful car. It's a smog free in California. Yeah. So, Do you have to smog this one here? I don't think you do. I live in a non-smog county. Oh, okay. Yeah. But if you nice. were in Las Vegas, you would. Yeah. So, like, the plans for this car is you're planning to, like, pull it out tomorrow, put some new tires on, and work on it? it down the road, just like I said. 
Yeah, pass it to a good home. Let somebody else deal with it. I'm not in love with it, kid. Oh, that's a nice car. I don't love it as much as you. <laughs> Do you love the W126 more? Yeah. Yeah? More, more freeway ready. ready yeah, ready. I know. I mean, Smash. this was uh, the earlier, the one that came before the 126. This was a, a SEL instead of an SE. I might okay, like you know, the long body for sure, yeah. Oh, these are still decent cars. It's so beautiful. Yeah, I hope you really find a good home for this baby. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. yeah, long body, everything. What have you done to this car so far? Yeah. Did you put these uh, Euro headlights on? No. Nope. Oh, they, it came with a car like that. Yep. That's beautiful. Yeah. You stop to see the ones I got over there. Sure, the yeah, this is a really beautiful car. I love, I love the chrome wheels. I see the chrome wheels are good for like dry climate like this. You know, if you were like somewhere in salt belt area, these would get destroyed really bad. But wait a minute, I didn't even realize it was 560 SEL. That's awesome. Beautiful machine. A few last moments with these amazing cars, guys. Amazing machines. The owner has a lot of plans for these cars. So some of them he will fix and sell, some of them he will keep. So it just depends. But these are all amazing machines. But he has some more, a couple more cars that he will probably show me. So I'd be interested to see that as well. But it's pretty amazing, guys. Guys, we're about to see some more desserts. Wow, that is pretty amazing. Ooh. One, two, three over there. Well, you must be kidding me. This one's got the Nardi Fury wheel, real nice. You must be, oh, what? Central wheels too? Oh. So you said you also like do some mechanical work on them as well, right? A little bit yeah, here yeah. and there. I'm so backed up, dude. I got yeah. so many cars and I'm one person. And right. It's just... Got a lot of uh, things to do. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I do motorcycles and I change the gas in them. And by the next season, I have to do it all over again. All over again. Because the gas goes bad so quick. So there's no, no use unless so you're the buyer. Is it like, so the gas goes bad, like kind of like in those cars, right? Where we see we opened the fuel tank and it was kind of like really like almost like a sand, right? Well, gas, so, the problem is, man, they, it, if you don't go to like 76, they put anything in that damn gas that burns, any kind of additive. And so yeah. gas... So all that heat just like evaporates, yeah. burns 15, up. 15, 20 years ago, you could get a gallon of gas and leave it in your lawnmower for three years and go start it and you're good. Now you leave it in your lawnmower for six months and you're freaking separate. Yeah. I wonder so like, I wonder, have you ever like tried to like, you know how they sell those like uh, gas additives and stuff like that can save you, you know, like gas from going bad like i don't know if that works well, so. once they go bad in a mercedes you, they get, you even think the gas is going bad you rather it's better just to clean the whole system without running clean the whole system yeah. so i don't want to put right, nothing right. in there and try to so run that's it. what we're working with right now on that car that's why i came to grab this fuel tank because it was all bad like everything yeah, you know then you get to a point you might even have to clean the fuel distributor and everything else. yeah well, we're hoping that on that car we don't really have to do it we might have to open it up and just flush it a little bit but Hopefully it's not too big of a deal. This one, I don't know what the story was, man. I went to go start it and and uh, it's just not firing. It just cranks no start. Yeah, it just cranks no start, and I wasn't getting and I and I I wasn't getting no juice to the coil, and I put another coil in there, and I don't know if the fucking coil's no good or what, because I put a used coil in. So I don't know. The coil. So you said work. you have no spark, or do you you, have, you don't have a spark, right? I had uh, no, no, nothing at the. Uh, I didn't get that far, man. Oh. When I do with those cars, I usually just put a little gas down the thing. Yeah, yeah. And fire it up and see if it turns over. And it didn't want and to it, start. And, and this didn't want to fire. So mm -hmm. I, I checked the coil and the coil uh, 
wasn't firing, so I put a freaking another a used coil in there, and it still wasn't firing. And I just, mm -hmm. I haven't so you have to check for powers and grounds of the coil. So when you crank it, so because you have a connection position sensor, if the connection position sensor doesn't produce the signal to the coil, it's not gonna fire. It's not gonna produce spark. Is the, the that coil gets the signal from the connection position sensor. So it gets the signal from the, the EZL module, the ignition control module. There's a small one on the left side. So, so something in one of those little things is right. probably what's messed up with it. Yeah. And I just haven't had a chance. All right, well, it's okay. You'll get to it sometime. Hopefully. It's not like I'm going to drive it if it starts. So, I mean, it's just going to sit here until somebody takes it over. It's not my car. It's not my style. Yeah. Okay, it, it's that's too cool. It's good to pass up on. Yeah, well, maybe somebody will be interested in you know, pick these amazing cars up. You know, if I was living around here, I'd probably pick them up, but you know, I'm far away. But they're amazing cars. I'm glad you're saving these amazing cars. Really, thank you for that. Yeah. It's a nice car. Yeah, it has everything, huh? Look how clean the interior is, dude. It's freaking Nice. Velour seats. Look at that wood trim. Yeah, that's darker. That it's is nice, beautiful. Man. That's like brand new. Can't believe it. A good thing you're uh, keeping these uh, covered and everything. Yeah, I, I come back and I, I probably should do that gray one over there and some of the other shifters. You could also maybe like, I'll blanket. cover up that shifter right there. Yeah, the shifter knob. There you go. If you put like some car covers on these, it would also save the paint and exterior and everything it's too. Get redone. Yeah. I've, I've got stuff coming. I got another container box coming, and I got mm -hmm. sailboat sails and, and awning kit. So by next year, I have awnings and stuff yeah. for the cars. Yeah. Oh my goodness! I would love to have another set. I got some that's got to get redone. No oh, transmission too, huh? It's a 420 560 tranny. And there's a 560 motor on the ground right there. <gasps> Nice. He's gonna cut the uh, exhaust. I gotta let a converter off. I got a set of these, but they're peeling. Mm -hmm. What is this big engine trans from? Caterpillar. Caterpillar. Big boy. <laughs> yeah. That is amazing. Well, guys, this is so amazing. I mean, I'm super sweaty. It's so hot here. It's about 120 degrees. It's insane. But the owner showed me a lot of cool stuff here, a lot of parts that he has, mainly W126s and his collection. And he has a lot of other things. And he's just a busy person, you know, but he tries to take care of these cars, tries to save them, tries to, you know, resell them to a good home and things like that. Um, as far as the weather here, it's pretty insane. Like I would never want to live here. I hate the heat. I can't stand it. I think Washington is where I'm going to stay. It's my favorite uh, weather over there. Like I just, you know, I cannot imagine living anywhere else than Washington as far as the weather. Like I love everything about Washington. Like nature, mountains, weather, like it's amazing. I really love Washington. So, but here we are in Nevada. Just wanted to show you some experience here. We're literally in the middle of nowhere. As you can see, we have a lot of cool stuff here. You could literally like fill this field up with like classic Mercedes or BMWs. That'd be really cool. But yeah. And anyways, guys, I think it's time to get going. Uh, yeah, I gotta get back, and we have to fix that five five hundred SEL, my friend's place. Welcome to Las Vegas traffic. Yep, it can get pretty bad as well. Guys, you have no idea, but I'm super tired. Uh, first of all, as I had to pull that fuel tank out, nobody was helping me. I was literally, uh, you know, laying on the ground doing that stuff. And second of all, it's just super hot. It's just insanely hot. And third of all, I basically had like just an hour of sleep last night because of work and all the other stuff so 
Yeah, but either way, I have to pass Las Vegas right now and I have to keep on going. And I have about two more hours left of driving. So we can deliver this fuel tank and all the other parts and we can install and get that car ready to go. G-Wagon, G-Wagon.